Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over uh, some examples of commutative and associative properties of equality. Uh, we're going to go over the definitions and then see what operations, common operations that we know um, that are commutative and associative, okay? Alright, so uh, we're going to be dealing with numbers um, in this case, so let's just restrict our, our um, options to use a set of numbers, okay? All right, so first of all, let's start with uh, commutative, the commutative property. So the commu commutative property, okay? All right, um, if you look at the word commute, commutative, you can extract commute from there. Basically, it indicates some kind of movement, right? Uh, you're going to be moving numbers around the place. All right, so what does it mean? What does the commutative property uh, mean? Um, we're going to be using an operation, we're going to call pound operation, all right? So, um, we can see the operation, the operation, let's just, let's use this symbol pound as our, as our operation, okay? The operation pound um, is commutative, is commutative if for any uh, real number, I mean any number, <laughs> for any number, um, for any numbers A and B, for any numbers A and B, the equation A pound B is equal to B pound A, okay? So what does this um, equation right here tell me? It basically tell, tells me that um, order does not change the result. Does not change the result. Okay? So any operation that is commutative, regardless of whatever order you carry out the operation on any um, any two sets, um, any, like you carry out the binary operation, regardless of whatever the order is, the result is always going to be the same, all right? So what are two common operations that we know that are commutative? Guess what? Addition and multiplication are commutative. All right, let's take a look at addition first. Okay, well, how do we know that addition is commutative? Well, how do we see that? The operation addition. Um, addition is commutative, uh, let's use plus, because for any number, for any numbers, A um, and B, A plus B, guess what, is equal to B plus A. So whenever you're adding numbers, um, two numbers, it doesn't really matter the order with which you add them because the results are always going to be the same regardless, okay? Uh, now let's illustrate an example. An example, what if we wanted to compute 3 plus 2? Is it e is 3 plus 2 equal to 2, uh, to 2 plus 3? You notice how I switched the order here? That's what commutative property basically means. On the left side, 3 plus 2 is 5. On the right side, 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have exactly the same number on both sides, so that checks out, all right? Um, remember, some operations might work but it doesn't necessarily mean that it always works. In this case, addition, regardless of any number you select, whenever you switch the order, you will always get the same result, okay? That's another operation that's commutative. Multiplication, multiplication uh, is also uh, commutative, okay? Um, so what does, that, what does that mean that the operation multiplication is commutative. Well, that basically means that um, for any numbers, for any numbers A and B, A and B, A multiplied by B is equal to B multiplied by A. Okay, so what on earth does this remark here mean? It basically means that when you multiply two numbers, it doesn't matter the order with which you multiply them, okay? So let's take a look at an example, just to illustrate. Three times two, and two times three. 
What is 3 times 2? 6. What is 2 times 3 is also 6. So we basically see that the order did not um, affect my the result of my binary operation on the multiplication here. So it checks out. All right. So does that mean that every operation is commutative? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, note. I'm going to put this in red. Note. Division and uh, subtraction are not commutative, okay? Are not commutative. In order to prove, if you can just show that there is one case where division fills under, under the commutative operation, then you're done, okay? So let me give you an example for division, okay? To show that division is not commutative. Uh, what is 10? Is 10 divided by 2? Is 10 um, divided by 2 equal to 2 divided by 10? Is it? 10 divided by 2, you can write it as a fraction 10 over 2. Is it equal to 2 over 10? 10 over 2 is 5. 2 over 10 is 1 over 5. They are not equal. So this is a counterexample that shows that division is not commutative. Remember, for an, an operation to be commutative, it has to be for any number. Any number you pick has to work. If there is one case that it doesn't work, then that operation fails uh, the commutative test. Hence, it is not commutative, okay? Let me show you an example under subtraction to really help you illustrate, uh, to help you see that. Um, uh, subtraction is not commutative, okay? What if I say 10 minus 2? Is 10 minus 2 equal to 2 minus 10? What is 10 minus 2? It's 8. What is 2 minus 10? Negative 8. These two are not equal, so this one shows that subtraction is not commutative. So remember, division and subtraction are not commutative, but addition and multiplication are commutative, okay? All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, what was it? Associative property. All right, so what on earth does the associative property uh, mean? What does it mean for an operation associative? What does it mean for an operation to be associative? Okay, uh, let's write down the general condition, and then we're going to see what operations, common operations we know um, that, are, um, that are associative. All right, so let's write it. Let's write down the remark real quick to help us understand what this means. Um, the upper, the operation, the operation. Um, what operation should we use? What symbol should we use? Well, let's stick to the same symbol. Okay, the operation pound. Okay, pound represents any operation you can think of. Is associative. Is associative. If for any numbers, any numbers A, B, and C, for any numbers A, B, and C, A pound B associated with each other pound C is equal to A, um, the operator, times B, um, associated with C with the operator count. Okay? So what on earth does this mean? It basically means that grouping, grouping does not affect, does not affect the result of the operation, the result of the operation, okay? Of the operation. So when you think about grouping, you think about you think about um, please excuse my dear and Sally, right? Remember parentheses has to be done first. So in this, if I were doing this uh, the left side of this equation, I'll do this operation first and then carry it out with C. If I were doing this side, I'll do the, the last two first and then carry out carry it carry it out with A. Okay? So that's what associated means. It means that when you group when you switch the grouping of the elements that you're carrying out an operation on, it has no impact on the result. Okay, so guess what? Addition and multiplication are associative. Okay, how do we know that? Well, let's take a look 
Let's write out the remark first. So addition, first of all, addition. Addition is um, addition is uh, associative because for any numbers, this is the operation addition. For any numbers, for any numbers, A, B, and C, okay, A plus B associated with each other plus C is equal to A plus B plus C associated with each other, okay? So this is what, uh, this is this is the case. It always holds for addition. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Uh, what if we had 3 plus 2 plus 4? Is it equal to 3 plus 2 plus 4? Is it? Well, let's see. On the left side, using the order of operations, we add first. We do the parenthesis first, so 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 4. Is 5 plus 4 equal to 3 plus, and then on the right side, we'll do this first, 3 plus 6. Is it? 5 plus 4 is 9. Is 9 equal to 9? Absolutely. So we see that this is an example that shows that uh, addition holds under, under the associative operation, okay? So, I mean, it shows that addition is associative. So, there isn't any example that, there isn't any counterexample to falsify this. It always holds, all right? So, I said addition is associative and multiplication is associative. Just like um, the uh, commutative property, uh, multiplication is also, uh, multiplication is also um, associative. All right, so how do we write that multiplication uh, is associative? Well, to write that down, we just simply say that for any number, for any numbers, for any numbers A, B, and C, um, A times B associated with each other times C is equal to A times B times C associated with each, with each other, okay? Let's take a look at an example just to illustrate. Is 3 times 2 associated with each other times 4? Is it equal to 3 times 2 times 4 associated with each other? Is it? Well, let's apply the uh, order of operations here. Parenthesis first, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 4. Is 6 times 4 the same thing as 3 times 2 times 4 is 8? Are they the same? 6 times 4 is 24, and 3 times 8 is 24. They're exactly the same. So we see here that um, multiplication is associated. This is just one example. All right. And I want to, a side note, I want you to note. Note that, guess what? Um, subtraction, subtraction, and uh, division are not associative, okay? Because you can find examples where grouping does uh, does uh, result in an inequality, reverse grouping, are not associative, okay? So probably you can try that in your, uh, by yourself, take some numbers and reverse the grouping, you find out that it's easy to find examples that show that subtraction and division are not, are not associative, okay? So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe uh, to my videos and share so you can get um, future updates to new cool clips such as this. Collection of clips can be found on myblueserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.